Well, was that an edge? It is. Joaquin Cornwall fails again. And the Knight Raiders have their first. Three ducks in a row. Rakeem Cornwall fails to trouble the scorer. My role is very simple in the team. He's tried to get the team off to a good start. Um, I think I get a decent start in Antigua and then the tournament didn't go as planned. Um, I just have to keep working. I can't put my head down because the tournament is a long way to go. Um, as we know, next week start the business end of the tournament. So I just try to prepare as much as possible to keep myself going for that part of the tournament. Oh, this could be it, the moment. What a time to be alive. That catch and Joaquin Cornwall. Yep, he's got five. Lahiri falling out from these beautiful beaches at Barbados. This is an event, Beach Please, powered by Invest Barbados, a welcoming investment climate to this wonderful country. And as you see, the warm people, outstanding beaches, everything looks so lovely. Four runs. A tie, what a game, what a game, a tie. The worst umpire in the history. The umpire has been very sketchy. I'm going to report him to the match referees, and then I'm going to the anti corruption officers as well, too. <laughs> The only thing I would say is that I think because of how traditionally you get these surfaces, like you can give yourself time to get in. You don't necessarily have to be a case where you're running on the cricket and feel as though that you go go from ball one. Uh, I think too many players come to this ground, see these dimensions and how good how good the pitch is and run the game down. So then they end up pulling out and then they got lots of balls to sit on the dressing room or what. So I guess you know, just say is just give yourself that chance. It's always a ground that you could definitely make a bump. Somebody with the top three, top four, the majority of the robots were simple little things that we talk about still apply, but I don't think it's good or the way it is. I understand, but it's going to come down to who get in as a, as a batter to go as long as possible. And let's not be scared. If you want to take someone down and take him for 36, take him down. It might be your matchup. So, yes, we want partnerships to go, but if there's a matchup and you get out in that matchup, then so be it. Really, when you think about it, the only uh, star for the Patriots to stand out. But... Oh, that was nice. Just away there from the man at 45. Oh, no need to look at that. That's Fletcher, and that probably breaks the shackles. Uh, yeah, people might think that Sinkers is my favorite team, but. Um... I think on that day, the body was just feeling good and I just feel like a good energy to go there and perform. Down the track straight away. And the rack attack has his first. Now Louis, he takes him on. And the cut takes it. Cole has got two and two. Players for the playoffs. Could be a third for Rakim Cornwall, who loves this venue. Wall. He's the man of, for the moment. Rack is into the attack and he's got himself his fourth. Oh, this could be it. The moment. What a time to be alive. That catch and Joaquin Cornwall. Yep, he's got five. 
I think it was a good catch. I, for me, I think that is the catch of the tournament so far. Um, I think the way how Alec flexed about himself in the field, I think he's a very good fielder as well. And look, that night I actually told Ravi before he went out, it's been a while I haven't taken a blinder. Uh, and normally when I talk about blinders, I talk about one-handed screamers, but I mean, as long as you get those in and, and the team is doing well, it feels good. Taken again, well judged by Alec Athenes, who's been special in the field tonight. I enjoy batting with Quinn. Um, he's, he's so calm, you know, and normally when, when things hit the fan, when you're under pressure, you need somebody like that at the wicket with you, so, so that you don't really, you know, feel under pressure and end up doing something silly. Um, so I, I really enjoy batting with him. Squeeze, squint the cough. Sails away. Not a boat ride, but a Republic Bank maximum. This patched and deposited into the stands. It's another Republic Bank maximum. Not the sweep, but similar area and four nonetheless. Another half century for a master of the format. Fourth 50 in CPL to go with a century, and it's his third this season. That will be the win, that will be it. To guarantee the Barbados Royals a place in the 2024 playoffs. Okay boys, very well done again. Gee whiz, three out of four at home is unreal. I mean, could have been four out of four, so it's just fantastic what we've come here and achieved especially after seeing what's happened with all the other home teams. So there was a bit of pressure on us, and we came and played really well. So let's give ourselves a hand with that. Um, and we'll bring up Jimbo. Fantastic five for Jimbo. <laughs> Sung hero so far in the last four games is Alec. He's been playing superbly well for the other guy. Your turn will come when you can have a go soon. So well done, Alex. I said high standards to myself. Now. I mean, but I, I normally put the team first. So as long as we, we, we get over the line, then it, I feel good with him. We have set ourselves some high standards. And I know it's, the challenge is now for us to maintain it. And I'm actually pleased with how we play, some, with how we play at home. You know, it's been fantastic. It's always difficult to play sometimes at home because of the pressure that comes with it. But I think each and every man has risen to the occasion, so congratulations on that. As coach mentioned, that it's important for us to, 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 to recover well. We travel tomorrow, don't know what's the plan for the next few days, but whatever the plan is from an individual standpoint or from a team perspective, ensure that when we come the 21st, the morning of the 21st, we are ready to go again. Okay. From an individual standpoint, 
you know, we know exactly what we're getting tomorrow, so they will build better plans. That's all that's all we ask for. Just sit down <coughs> and build better plans as batters, build better plans as bowlers, and we'll come again and we'll go again tomorrow, yeah? Losing two games, I don't think is a setback. I think it's, it's a tournament where teams are going to beat you and you're going to beat teams. It's just now how we prepare for these last two games and then we know what we need to do to get into the finals. It's just probably one or one game or two games away from the finals. So we have a quality team, we have experience and I think we have enough international experience that we can put all together and come with a big win.